Hello, and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to make automatic wheel rotation using the Wheelmatic add-on in Blender. Let's get started. In a previous lesson, we created a wheel rig and rotation animation. Before we start, you can watch that previous tutorial by clicking the link at the top right corner if you'd like. Now, we'll recreate the same animation using a built-in Blender add-on that's much easier to use. Wheelmatic is a built-in Blender add-on that automatically rotates any wheel in any direction. It's perfect for vehicles, bone-driven wheels, or even wheels following a path. The rotation is fully automatic using drivers, so there's no need for baking or simulation. The setup is simple, quick to adjust, and easy to remove. First, let's install the add-on. Go to the Edit menu and select Preferences. Click on the Get Extensions tab, type Wheel into the search bar, and when you find the add-on, click the Install button. Now, press the N key to open the side panel, and you'll see that the add-on has been added under a new tab. Now, let's click on the tab and open the add-on. First, we'll try it out on a single wheel. Hide the car body from the Outliner Editor. Select one of the front wheels. Make sure the wheel's pivot point is exactly at the center, and it only rotates around one axis. This can be the X, Y, or Z axis. When you switch to the top view, it should be aligned with either the X or Y axis. For example, this one is aligned with the Y axis. Finally, check the wheel's rotation and scale values. You can do this by clicking the Item tab and looking at the rotation and scale values. These should be uniform. Rotation should be 0, 0, 0, and scale should be 1, 1, 1. If not, press Ctrl A and choose Apply Rotation and Apply Scale. You're all set. Now, go back to the Add-on tab. The forward axis is set to Auto by default, so the add-on can automatically detect the forward direction of the wheel. If you prefer, you can manually choose a specific axis. All you have to do is click the Automate button. The add-on will create a parent object for the wheel. By moving this object, the wheel will automatically rotate in the scene. You can also press the R key to rotate the parent object and make the wheel roll in any direction you want. If you set the transform orientation to local, you can move the parent object along its local axis. If you want, you can hit the S key to scale the parent object and the wheel along with it. If you want to remove the wheel's rotation automation, select the wheel, open the Utilities panel, and click the Remove Automation button. The yellow shape here is a locator. Locators are used to check if the wheel is set up correctly. Each locator is placed at the base of the wheel and shows the forward and backward directions with arrows. As the wheel moves, the locator moves along with it. If you want to hide the locators in the viewport, open the Utilities panel and click the Toggle Locators button. You can also adjust the locator size using the slider just below that button. Now let's take a look at how to use the Wheel-O-Matic add-on with multiple wheels attached to a vehicle. First, make sure each wheel has its pivot point centered, is aligned to a specific axis, and has uniform rotation and scale values. Also, the vehicle itself should be parallel to the ground when viewed from the side. The setup is similar to a single wheel. The only difference is that now there are multiple wheels, and they are all children of the vehicle. When you move the vehicle, the wheels should move along with it. First, let's make the vehicle body the parent of the wheels. Hold down Shift and select all the wheels. Then, select the vehicle body last so it becomes the active object. Press Ctrl P and choose Keep Transform to Parent. Now, when you move the vehicle body, the wheels move along with it. Hold Shift and select all the wheels. Then, click the Automate button to add wheel automation. Next, select the vehicle body and move it. That's it. The wheels will rotate at the correct speed as the vehicle moves. You can also adjust the rotation speed if you want. Select the wheel you want to change the speed of and open the Adjust panel. If you lower the rotation power value here, 
The wheel will spin much slower compared to the others. Now let's take a look at how wheels driven by bones can be automatically rotated using this add-on. Select the wheel and press Shift S to move the cursor to the center of the wheel. Press Shift A to add a single bone. Press Tab to enter edit mode, then select the bone and move it slightly down along the Z-axis. Next, select the tail of the bone, press Shift S and choose selection to cursor. Press E followed by X to extrude the bone along the X-axis. Now switch to Pose mode and select the central bone that will control the wheel's rotation. Use the eyedropper to select the wheel geometry you want to rotate, then click the Automate button. Next, select the lower bone, and when you move it along a specific axis, you'll see the upper bone rotate around its own axis. To make the wheel move together with the bones, we need to set up a parent relationship. Select the central bone and switch to Object mode. First, select the wheel, then hold Shift and select the bone. Press Ctrl P and set the wheel as a child of the selected bone. Now, switch back to Pose mode, select the lower bone and move it. You'll see that the wheel also moves along with it. This way, you can rotate the wheel and move it in any direction you like. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next tutorial.